Is Mr. Sleepy Man a collectathon? Well, it depends on your definition of a collectathon. The term collectathon refers to a game where the progression is tied to how many things you collect. In Mario 64, you can't get to the next world without stars. In Banjo Kazooie, it's notes. In Donkey Kong 64, it's like bananas or something, I don't know. Now, there are a lot of collectibles in Mr. Sleepy Man, but the progression of the game isn't bound by them. Mr. Sleepy Man is more of a game about interacting with characters. Every significant action you take against someone has an equal reaction. So the main objectives that actually define the game's progression don't even have collectible items associated with them. From a gameplay perspective, it's not necessarily what you would expect from a 3D platformer. And that was my goal when designing the game. Because the typical collect-a-thon gameplay loop, it worked in 1998, but in 2023, it's just fucking boring. When Mario 64 came out, the fact that you could fluidly move a character in 3D was so novel. But now, it's just another game. It's all been done before. And as an avid gamer myself, the idea of creating a typical 3D platformer, it just doesn't get me excited. But collecting things in Mr. Sleepy Man will make the gameplay easier. You can find these cloud coins to increase your health. And shiny things will allow you to fast travel to states in the world you've already visited. But what I'm saying is that none of that stuff is mandatory for progressing through the game. I'm not holding content from you because you haven't collected the arbitrary item. In Mr. Sleepy Man, the only thing actually holding the player back is their own intuition.